I'm tempted to jump into that, you know. Come on, let's go for it. YOLO. Okay. <laughs> We're not meant to have done that. Well, hello, Shelly Rocks. We are looking at a game today called Claire de Lune. This is by a developer called Tactic Studios, and it's published also by Tactic Studios. This just came out the other day, and I thought it looked pretty interesting. It's a uh, story-driven puzzle game with uh, a sci-fi theme to it. So we play it as a character called John in this, and we're going to navigate a planet surface and a mystery research facility. Okay, hopefully this is not going to be jump scare. So we're going to do a new game. This is totally blind i've not played any of this so just thought we would uh check out like 15 20 minutes of it see what it's all about and uh see what it's like so here we go oh here we come then so it looks like we're peered out of a warp hole near this uh it looks very much like earth i don't know if it is earth i'm not sure what timeline this is in arturo do you think this is 2191 absolutely john you've never steered us wrong me you were the one who said we should come through here. Was it me? Well, I've never steered you wrong either. So it is an AI, patrols, an AI we've got. Here. You're fine. Our coffee yeah. by the look of it. Okay. Just, we have a while to wait for the jump drive to charge. And we're just sitting here in restricted space. Fun fact. <laughs> 97 ships were captured in restricted space last year while waiting for their jump drives to charge. Uh, let's do Be Nice. Oh, so it's a choice based game, this. Thanks let's do for Be the Nice. Info. You're welcome. I'm so helpful. Helpful AI. Hey, Dad. Hey, kiddo. Turo was just regaling me with his fun facts. Ooh, got any for me, Turo? Hmm. Fun fact out of all the people named Claire on your home colony, only seven were arrested for committing arson lots last year. Lots of hints about huh. uh, crime. Well, that is. Good to know, I guess. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's a full 34% below average. Okay then. How long until our next jump? Hours? A few hours. Yeah, a few hours. Hmm. We're gonna go off the ship, I'm aren't bored. we? I bet. I bet we go down to the planet. Let's uh let's do a I'm dad bored. joke. I'm John. Oh Stop. dear. Please. I'm also hungry. Can we do another dad joke for that? Don't say it. <laughs> Uh, don't say it. Okay, also hungry. How about I make you some food then? <sighs> that would be great. Some good dad Thank jokes you. there. Well, let's go make some food. Alright, here we go. This is where I take control. It'll be interesting to see what sort of ship this is. Ooh. I'll look at that though. It's one of the uh, the little hula figures. Our trip to New Haven. There's a big meal, and these performers put on some kind of old Earth dance. A hula dance. Okay, so there's been some sort of catastrophe by the look of it. Ooh, where's this? Port Halleck Hallenken. Is that where we're going? Are we are we trying to get there? Maybe. Oh, this is cool. Look at the ship. That looks nice. Charging station. This is the cargo bay. What's this room? That's, that's a bit a bit janky. Look at the state <laughs> of the wall. What's this one? That's a transporter. Uh, escape pod. Escape pod. Okay, kitchen's that way. What's that way? Engineering. Okay, so we're going to the kitchen. Nice. Make some space grub. All right, how do I make space grub? What does this say? All this stuff will have to wait until we get back to port. Must be stuff we're, we're missing out of. Missing coffee, cereal, uh, generator fuel and oil. Ugh. Missing a lot of things. Okay, so how does I make food? Do I need to talk to her? What you looking at there? Just pictures, friends from back home. Nervous about where we're going? Where are we going? No, I think it's exciting. Our old place reminds me too much of mom, anyway. Something's happened to the mother. You know me. I'll make new friends. I always do. Yeah, well, this will be the last time. Yeah. Okay. Just sucks that I couldn't even say goodbye to anyone. Think I could even just send a message? Let's tell her the no, truth. I mean, 
If someone traced it back to us, that could be pretty dangerous. So we're on the run by the look of it. Okay. Interesting. Claire, I know my job has caused a lot of... Oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Turo, what was that? John, we've run into some trouble. Come to the cockpit, please. Oh dear. Claire, can you run a diagnostic on your phone? Maybe the compressor's loose again. Okay. Alright, need to get to the cockpit. That's not good. Red alert is never a good thing on a spaceship. Okay, let's get to the uh, cockpit. I think it was this way. Here we go. Let's get in. Let's get in the, the, the seats. Uh, okay, this isn't good. By what? Engage reverse thrusters. I don't know. Reverse thrust engaged, but we don't have a lot of fuel here. What do you mean, not a lot of fuel? We can't pull away. It's not looking like it. Oh dear. Anything on sensors? Tractor beam? No, sir. Three point six minutes of thrust remaining. We're getting pulled towards the planet. Shit. Claire, get to the escape pod now. Right, we're in trouble. We need to get to the escape pod. Cut thrusters, Turo. Why are we cutting thrusters? Because we're going to land the ship. We need to save fuel for the landing. Cutting what? Thrusters. How are we going to land? How are we going to land the ship? Okay, putting on my space outfit. Can you hear me, Turo? Arturo. I hear you loud and clear. Okay. I'll be right back. I have to make sure Claire made it to the escape pod. Okay. Then we'll check on Claire then. I think the escape pod's here. Uh, this way somewhere. All right, she's in the pod. Strapped in, Claire. Yes. Dad, what's going on? I don't know. Something's gone wrong, and it looks like we're going to crash. Oh, there, this oh isn't good. Stay in the escape pod. Don't leave. I'll come find you. Okay. What? You're not coming with me? Nope. I love you, Claire Bear. Dad! Oh, there. <laughs> That's the Jackter. There you go. Goodbye, daughter. Is that going to turn around and then the thruster's going to activate? Come on. Oh, they are. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. It's going to make an entry on the planet. Ooh, nice. Right. I've got to land the ship. So I take it. There's no point me uh, wandering around and doing this all, all this other stuff yet, is there? No, we might as well just try and land it. I don't know if there's a time scale, so let's just do it. Right, here we go. Let's try and land this. Okay, Turo. I'm granting you full flight control. Oh, shit! I'm also dropping AI security protocols and granting you high-level problem solving at clearance level 5. What? He's unlocking the AI. John, I can see the matrix. What? <laughs> Settle down, Turo. Confirm you have Claire's location. That's a negative, boss man. She's still in transit. Get as close to her projected location as possible. All right, so we're going down. But we're going to need to shut off the inertial dampers. I, I promise you won't um, die. Okay, here That's we go. That's not very encouraging. Disengage inertial dampers on my mark and route remaining power to the AI unit. Redirecting power. <sighs> Land my fucking ship, Turo. It's my ship too, John. Mark. All right, we're going. The AI is trying to land us. Turned off all the uh, inertial gravity and I'm getting a cup to the face are we gonna survive whoa where are we now I guess we've gone to dreamy uh, dreamy knocked out unconscious by flying dead pre mode yeah this is my uh, untextured home you can see it looks lovely right what's gonna be the trigger the door's got a trigger on it. Let's uh, open the door. Now, if we see the wife now, this will be just cheesy. Oh, yes, the daughter. She's gone, isn't she? I, oh. I just... I didn't know. So this is a flashback. Oh, okay. Claire, I just... Why didn't you think of us? Huh? What happened to the wife, Why then? Put us first? I screwed up. I never... I never thought. Just leave me alone. Okay. So it's a bit of a, a touching um, history there, and we appear to have Turo. crashed. <laughs> I can see trees. I can see water. Churro, you there? 
Oh, the AI is broken. Damn it. I gotta get Arturo back online. We broke the AI. Hopefully I've got a uh, spare parts. Let's go to... Let's take the fire extinguisher. Because there's going to be stuff on fire. Uh, let's take a screwdriver. Should never leave home without one. Um, I'm assuming I need to go to like engineering bay or something and try and fix this mess. Can't turn this on until the main power is right. back online. So we need to get the main power back online. So let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else for me to pick up. We're going to pry this open with a screwdriver. Nice. Right, I can see burny things. Oh, the ship's a mess. Oh, there's a leak. A problem. Right, so we need to fix the coolant leak. So I've got to keep an eye out for something to fix that. Any uh, masking tape? Alright, there's a big fire there. Let's put that out. Right, so that's stopped me from going in here, so I reckon we probably have to go in here for something. Oh, well, here we go. We Broken wires. wires to get the power back on. Right, so I need replacement wires from somewhere. Let's go and try and find a source of replacement wires. Is this loose wires? No? Alright, spare wires here. Well, I say spare. <laughs> what is that power? I bet my coffee machine is not going to work now. Right, let's go and plug this into the computer. Get that working. So that was in this room. Here we go. There we go. Got the power back on. Let's go and talk to the computer now. He's probably going to boot into Windows Millennium. Mainframe examine. Let's have a look. Is anything else broken? That looks charred. That one, that red one. This What's that? Your chip is fried. Yep. I think I have some spares in the cargo bay. Okay, cargo bays we're going to then. Now where was the cargo bay? Oh, we need to seal the leak as well. So the escape pod's there. What's this way? Ooh, there you go. There's the chip. And is there anything to fix the the leak? How do I fix the leak? Was there something in the kitchen, maybe? I'm not seeing anything. I don't know where the living quarters are. I think they're down there, but I can't seem to access them at the moment. Right. Right, we need to sort that leak out, but we'll get the mainframe back on. Maybe the AI will have a clue about fixing the leak. So we just need to slot out that. Now I just need to boot up the computer. Right, now how do we boot it up? Should she use the computer? It's probably just lots of typing. Okay, booting central AI unit. Error during boot sequence. Oh... Says proceed to formatting. Are we going to end up with a basic uh, AI module, like standard one? Says it's restoring backup. These sectors here are worrying now. Bad sectors found. Ugh. Okay. Now, is this going to be a mini game? Ah, I knew it was going to be. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a mini game. So, we're going to use logic gates to try and produce the requested output bits. Uh right, so that means we've got to go and, and turn these from like red, green, red, green, red into green, red, green, 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 red, red, red. Okay. So how does this work then? So we've got an AND gate. So if I do green and what does that do? Does that turn that into something? Let's just see. I don't know how to reverse polarity on, on this. Let's try and work this out. So, not. 
So why does that turn into green? I think that's changing colour because you're inputting red. Then you're running through a not gate. And then the not gate, so it's not red. So it's green. I'm assuming that's what it is. <laughs> right, so how do I get red into that one? So we've got green coming in and red there. So if I put that to not, that's going to go green on that one. But it needs to be red. So, let's, yeah, do and. Oh, and this one here. So we've got a red input going into this. Ooh. Now what does this need to be? Now if I put this as a knot, that'll go green. Now we need to get this into green now. So if we do knot again, there we go. Now the last three, we've got to get this input to green, red, red. And we've only got a red input. So that's got to be not for the first part. The second bit has got to be not. No, 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 no. Yeah, not, not, not. Whoa, how did I work that out? That should do it. <laughs> I didn't even have to Google it. Arturo, you there? Okay, AI Whoa, should be back up. Lie, John. Damn, that was a nice landing. Are you hurt? I'm not reading any life signs from your suit. That doesn't sound suit good. Must be busted. I'm all right. I'm resetting your AI security protocols to default clearance levels. I bet you can't do it no, now, watch. Oh, please, John, you should have seen me. I was like a fiery beacon of life-saving glory. I think the AI is a bit unhinged. Use these godlike powers He's unhinged. I won't even kill a single human. Unless you wanted me to? Come on, Actually, put the security back on. in place. Why do I take orders from you again? All right, your security protocols are back in place. Okay, we've managed to do it. <laughs> first things first. Do you have a reading on Claire? Oh yeah, we need to find Claire, Santa don't we? Only 4.3 miles away. Only 4.3 miles. <sighs> Thank God. And the ship? We've sustained heavy we've damage. Got a leak. Primary thrusters, life support, jump drive. I don't think we're taking off any time soon, that's for sure. Okay, let's say let's do, safe. Let's be thankful. Can you get the ship flying again? Yeah, it'll take a while though. And I'll have to reclaim some of your cargo. Actually, probably a lot of your cargo. You know, if you give me those superpowers again... No, sure you don't faster. You don't need superpowers. You absolutely have to. You're already right up against your quota. I don't want the defense matrix to torch us when we get back to port. Right, the defense matrix. I forgot about that sneaky bastard. What's the defense matrix? I don't like it either. But that's one rule I'm not about to break. Is this something to the AI? Right. AIs have not caused a single human death in over 20, 20 years. 20 years, wow. So the AIs keep telling us. I would never lie. By the way, you are looking dapper today, John. Oh. I'm going to go get Claire. Right, so Wait, I'm going to... You're going to want your oh. nanogun. Yes. What for? Well, it's pretty mountainous ahead. A I nano gun. I found software for your nanogun that will help you get around. You know, back before you robbed me of my scintillating intellect. I'm not removing your security program. What is a nano gun? Uh -huh. I'll go get the nano gun. Is it a terraforming tool? Might be. Maybe the nano gun I can fix the leak, maybe? Right, so we're looking for the... I think this is where the storage was. Wait a minute. Where was the storage? That's the kitchen. That's where the escape pod was. Ooh. Look at the horizon there. Coming for you, Claire. Very pretty looking game, though. It plays um, plays nicely. I'm just a bit lost. I'm trying to find the um, the cargo. Oh, here we go. Is this is this what the gun is? Yes. Look at it. Oh. Right. We'll configure your nano gun to create a stable platform for you to stand on. Easier than carrying a ladder with you, and much more versatile. What? So it's like so a. You'll need a nano core to provide it with a reservoir of reusable nano. Right. Powder. Where do we get that yeah, from? I have a nano core in the rear cargo bay. Okay. Apparently, I've got a nano core in the rear cargo bay. Well, the rear cargo bay. What's this one then? This one, maybe. Oh, here we go. There's my nano core. It's empty though. No problem. We have enough spare nano matter to fill it up. Just head to the right. station. Nanos. That's the sort of technology that always fascinates me. That the uh, 
you know, miniaturized robots that we might be able to use in future. Oh, look at this. It's like a 3D printer. Nice. Now, this is going to be an infinite resource of this. Nano core. Oh, yeah. Ready to go. So, what's the software you Right. Designed? So, what have Download we got to do now? now? Once it's finished, you'll be able to spawn a one meter cube to most okay. flat surfaces. Sounds interesting. Thanks, Arturo. If we're all set, I'll head to the transporter. How close can you get me to Claire? I don't think we're going to fix that leak, are we? She's only a few miles out of transporter range. But I can't access the transporter systems for oh, some reason. Oh, the transporter's going to be broken. What's going on. I'll go take a look. Transporter is going to be broken, and we're going to have to walk there. I still need to fix this. Oh, shut this off through the transporter computer system. Ooh, that's a good hint. All right, here we go. Oh, it's going to be a puzzle. It's going to be a puzzle. Um... How do I <laughs> run diagnostic to populate table? Right, where's the diagnostic then? This one. I hope this isn't hard, because uh, I, I was I was like a boss on that last one. Let's hope for this is good. Errors detected. Uh, right, level five diagnostic reports, primary systems, inbound offline, outboard outboard offline, minimum range two point five kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles. Internal temperature, check coolant, yes. Right, um... Let's check for coolant leak. Let's do decontaminate. I don't know what that does, but we've clicked it. No contaminants found. Right, let's ventilate. Coolant leak detected. Resolve coolant. Right. Uh, change coolant, maybe? Switching coolant type. That sounds a lot less leaky. Okay, so we're now going to hydrogen. Let's do uh, ventilate now. Nice. Looking... Back online. Yes, we fixed ah, it. Yes, much better. Thank you. That was good. That was. Clear. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. Bring her back within transport range. Okay. Do I get into this? I like this plan. No, I love this plan. I'm so happy. Whenever you're ready, step up on the transport. Ah, oh, so we're gonna. I'll send you through. I mean, that's a sneaky little way of the devs getting around. You know, you're on a crash ship, so they don't have to show you any of the external ship now. And we're gonna go off and zoom in this now. Apparently, how does this work? Good to go. Godspeed, sir. All right. Oh, oh, here we go. Nice. You get that used to transporters being in Star Trek that I thought I was just going to do a shimmering loop then. And I've just warped. Ooh. All right, Turo. I'm through. Right, Perfect. now where are we? Path to the pod with only a few chasms, ahead. chasms. That doesn't sound good. Nothing I can't handle. Exactly. I mean, it might be a bit tricky in spots. Right, we're going to figure out this nano gun then. Probably won't fall to your death. Right. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at the color of the ocean. Wait a minute. Is that the pod there? Look. I'm assuming we go this way. So just spawn a cube with your gun there and you should be able to jump on it. Okay. So we aim at the grounds. Just jump on that. Do I have to reclaim it? I have done. I don't know if you need to, but... Should take... Let's just take these with me as I go along. Okay. Nice. Right, where are we going? That eagle's following me. Press shift to sprint. Oh, look, it's look, it's look like it worked out how to jump. I'm tempted to jump into that, you know. Come on, let's go for it. YOLO. Okay. <laughs> Not meant to have done that. Okay, so the bit I've been stuck on for absolutely ages is this bit going round here. Well, you need to go 
across at the top. Let me just show you, because this took me a while to figure out what to do, and there's probably going to be people that get stuck on this, because I don't think it's immediately obvious where you need to go. So, uh, I'm probably going to die trying to go back the way I came. Are we meant to go this way? Right. So, you need to get keep going higher and higher. So I'll get all the way down. Right, so if we get down to this point here, right, so we need to get around that way. So what you do is this. You come up here. You jump up to the top. Then you come along here. Now this is the bit that I got stuck on. So you jump down here. I didn't think this was that obvious. You need to jump over here. And then we need to keep working our way over this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to be careful with the jumps, though, because you, <laughs> you can fall like that. And that would be extremely embarrassing if I died showing you how to do it. Okay, so we need to come here. There we go. Carry on with the game. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Okay, I have an amazing idea that you're going to love. Yeah? So the cube will actually fall with gravity. Well, sort of. It's He's, he's going to teach me how to make a bridge now, I think. So it has no real center of mass. But that's how I designed it, by the way. So I think we dropped the nano on top of this rock. Zero, what are you getting at? Come on. I was thinking you could drop, you know, knock it down, just spawn the cube somewhere. Okay. So press R to see where it replaced. Okay, so we're gonna drop it there. That's gonna. Amazing idea, Zero. Wow. In my defense, all my advanced problem solving abilities. <laughs> that didn't really, uh, let's okay. leave him be. I think I can use where the cube has landed to get up a little. Yeah, that didn't really work, did it? Um, where did that fall from? Is it there? Okay, so we need to jump on that, jump on that. There we go. <laughs> Right, let's keep going this way. It was a good idea dropping that on there, but it didn't quite work out as planned. Right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Um, yeah, don't, don't, don't jump like I jump. Right, we, we must be able to make this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Older models of your suit used to have a continuous propulsion system. Oh, imagine that jetpack. I want a jetpack. I could use a propulsion system right about now. You enable it? It would help immensely if I had a jetpack on this now. Right. We're going to keep going. Mysterious purple glow in that cave. So, we're going to go and head down and see what is down here. Ooh. A bit close to my fall limit then. Ooh, what is that? Okay. A man-made item here. This planet is inhabited? What the heck? Space, so there's no public information about this place. This looks like well, something keeping something in. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some research presence. Any ideas? Take the nanocore from the force field generator. Oh, this off. is a bad idea. I don't know if that's such a good idea. This is a bad idea. Oh, rocks? They won't collapse. Besides, I have an idea for that nanocore. Okay. It's locked. Can you run a bypass? Sure. You'll have to perform the injection yourself. Okay, though. we've got another puzzle. Security protocols and all that. Let's do this puzzle. Alright, it's bypass. Okay, so we're in uh, binary now. Uh, locate bit sequence 10110010. So, ugh, right, 0110. Where is that? Is it this one? Zero. No, no, no. One. How do I find this? Locate 1011. I'm not seeing that address. Can I move these round? No, no, no. This is this is wrong. This is wrong. I've done that wrong. Let's 
I need to find that bit address. 1011. There's not... That address doesn't exist. Unless it's backwards. This bit here. 1011. 0010. 10110. No, it's not quite, is it? I'm just going to try it on this. Let's just try. 1011 0100. No! Uh. Press 0 or 1 to enter a new sequence. 111111. Yeah, that's not working. How do I do this? Maybe we can try it backwards, so let's look for 0100. I'm assuming it reads from left to right. I can move it around, though. 010011. Uh, 0, no. 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 I cannot see this address at all. I mean, that's 0100 there, but then we need a 1. And that's 01000. What about this one? 01001010. It's this one, look. So it's this bank. Okay. That was a pain. 1110100. Wow. I can do binary. Got it. Mentioned you have a use for the nano core. What are you gonna do with the yes, core? But you probably want to run through that tunnel first in case it collapses. What? You said it wouldn't collapse. Yeah, but that was more of a guess. Get going. Okay, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. Huh. Um Whew. see? I told you it wouldn't <sighs> what? right. So right. So I've what we're gonna do with this nano core. Yeah. Yes. And the cube. Eh. It's helpful. But I thought of Go what on. you're gonna give me. I was thinking we could program your nano gun to produce a nano boinger. Nano boinger doink. Nano boinger boink. It would be like a disc on the ground that per you could jump higher, further, and farther. Sounds good. Okay, it's all ready. What should we call it? I like nano trampoline. Nano trampoline. That's a mouthful. Call it a booster. Mm, oh. It doesn't work like a booster, though. It's more like a trampoline. Booster is fine. Call it that, and let's go. Okay, fine. Interesting. So, I can change the shape now. Spawn a booster here. And then I can just jump. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That rock doesn't look like a rock. Huh? John, that really didn't make any sense. What is it, then? It has spikes all over it. Ooh. It's like a beetle shell. Oh, well, don't worry. I won't tell anyone that you're scared of a tiny rock. Should we go and investigate Whatever. it? Whatever. I'm staying up on the cliff here. No, let's go and see what it is. Let's go and examine this rock. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's not... Okay, it's a spider. It's a spider. It's a spider and it's eating my face. I need to drop a cube on this one's head. Come on. Cube it. Yes. There you go. Did you like that, little squishy friend? Oh, these things are nasty. Fun fact. How do I get Predators that attempt to kill larger prey will often employ a powerful Go, 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 go. Wow. Anyway, that's enough for seeing me dying this. I'm not going to uh, show you any more of this. If you do want to see some more of this, then you know what to do. If you leave a comment on this video, if you leave a like on this video and let me know you want to see some more, I'll play a little bit more of this. So I'm interested to see what happens when we get to the escape pod and also what new weapons we get because that um, this, this projector thing's pretty cool. It would be good to see what some of the other weapons are, so, well, what the other bits are, so, yeah. I will leave that there for now. That is it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.